So Sarah Yaki just sent me the episode titles for the final two episodes of season six, and they're called The Final Battle, Part One and Part Two. And I have to say, from the title alone, I'm very inclined to think that this is Adam and Eddie's way of saying to the show, or to the fan base, that the show is canceled and we haven't officially decided to announce it yet, but from the title alone, it, it seems to be done. I mean, it's called The Final Battle, and you know, with the promos, especially that Oscar promo where Lana Pri as Regina was saying this could be the final chapter, and then it's literally called The Final Battle, I'm very much inclined to believe that final, it means this is the final season, not just like the final act for certain characters. This is it. Like the show is really on its way out, but we're still waiting for the confirmation from um, ABC executives, etc. But I'm really upset that that's what the titles of the episodes are called because I really didn't want the show to end. I was really hoping in my heart of hearts that it would get to continue. And, you know, they, they cast, you know, uh, Andrew J. West uh, in a role for the season six finale, which I thought was, you know, possibly an older Henry. They also cast a, um, you know, a girl who's supposed to be roughly 10 years old and she's supposed to be from a broken home or whatnot. And I thought, oh, maybe it could be the daughter of Emma and Hook and possibly Henry ended up raising her. Maybe Emma and Hook died or it's Henry and Violet's daughter. So I thought, oh, there could be a couple things they could uh, do with that kid. And also, I think Unfortunately, getting rid of Jared Gilmore is actually smart for the show because I think Jared's acting is just horrendous. I don't like it at all. Um, most people get better as they age, but I think Jared just slowly declined. But that's just my uh, viewpoint of it. There's also been additional news that Josh Dallas, Jennifer Goodwin, and Jared Gilmore were not up for negotiations of their contracts. I think that Josh and Jennifer were particularly... Um, not negotiating contracts because they have a family, they have two kids, I don't know if it's a third on the way, but, you know, they work together and they probably want some time off in order to raise their family. If you've noticed, just the role of Snow White and Prince Charming has been relatively lackluster. Granted, in Murder Most Foul, David's role was pretty good, but at the same time, like, he maybe, get, like, he might get one good episode every so often, but uh, Snow White for the past, um, really two seasons has been doing nothing of relevance to the plot. So uh, it makes sense that these two want out for Jared Gilmore. It kind of makes sense if they want to age him up and have an older version of Henry come into the show. But then I thought, well, if they have an older version of Henry, you unless you kill off the young Jared, that wouldn't make sense. So you have to either go into the future or you need to have um, Emma and Regina age or, you know, because they have magic, maybe they... Uh, can find a way to keep themselves youthful for a long period of time. So that would allow Jennifer Morrison and Lana Perea to be on the show while Andrew J. West takes on the role of Henry, and maybe somehow Regina and Emma could keep Hook young. Uh, the potential season seven I really saw as a soft reboot. They really were saying, um, you know, the writers and whatnot, and uh, all the tweets and, and everything I was uh, seeing was saying that season seven is supposed to be this revamp of the show, nothing, like nothing we've ever seen before. But at the same time, I am almost positive that Jennifer Goodwin, I don't know, excuse me, Jennifer Morrison and um, Colin O'Donoghue were trying to get their contracts back in order to stay on the show because I really feel that Once Upon a Time has become a part of their lives and they don't want to lose it. At the same time, I totally do understand why Josh Jellis and Jennifer Goodwin would want to leave the show. So uh, I'm kind of bummed out that this could be it like I, and i'm not saying it, it is it because i don't have the actual message but i'm just kind of going off of uh the notes that i have here um the jennifer goodwin and josh dallas thing not confirming um or not coming back that's that on, that's on deadline that's on just jared it's all over the internet you can just do a simple google search i think the deadline and just jared articles are the best just jared's a very good source for hollywood news so uh, them not coming back definitely says um uh, well, new new rebound for the show because I think the show could totally function without Josh Dallas and Jennifer Goodman. I don't actually I do want them to leave, but I want them to leave in a, a starring capacity. I'd rather have them you know be recurring in order to have those fun family bonding moments if uh, Emma needs advice, etc. But they just seem to be completely gone, and I think having them really gone essentially eliminates. Um, a little bit more hope that the show is going to get its season seven. I mean. I think there's a way to give it a seven, just to 
even if it's cut down by to 13 episodes, I think a cut down season seven just to really focus on each character, um, main char- at least um, Regina, Emma, and Hook one last time, give them two, three episodes, and then give Andrew J. West's character and the new girl a couple episodes, and then end it with a big bang. Uh, Emily DeRaven, I don't know what's going on with her. I know Robert Carlyle was very concerned about renewing his contract as well because this is his job. You know, we have to remember that as much as we love to watch the show and talk about the plot and the uh, intricacies of it, these actors need this, these, the, this, these roles in order to get paid because they have families, they have expenses, they have things they need to do with money. So th- this is just a very concerning time for fans and for the actors just from an um, economic standpoint as well. So I don't like the way ABC is treating the show um, business-wise at all. I think it's very sloppy. I'm, I'm, I'm nowhere near an expert in the business. I do this for fun, you know, to do these discussions with you guys. But I really think ABC is treating the show in a very lackluster way. You know, re- releasing those two sneak peeks on um, essentially Friday night was just awful. Um, I, I, if I was ABC, I would have released one today. We could have had a fun discussion about a sneak peek today. And at first, I really did think that Andrew J. West was going to be an older Henry and bring something to the show. But in Andrew J. West, if any of you guys are fans of The Walking Dead, and I really know um, a lot of Once Upon a Time fans, um, I don't know, that's, that's the wrong way to say it. I know uh, The Walking Dead and Once Upon a Time really has nothing in common, but I really feel that you guys could enjoy The Walking Dead. I enjoy it, and at first, I never thought I would like it. And Andrew J. West played Gareth on the um, season five in season four he was fantastic so they have a very strong actor coming to the show so i'm i'm really concerned and also again the title for the season six finale is called the final battle and i think by having the word final in it but at the same time i've, I've also seen shows where um they've had the word final in, in it as well like um like sailor sailor moon has had a couple final in their episode titles but those are animes and animes generally get um renewed for a Ever so quite a bit, so at least the, the Sailor Moon and Meta anime, but that had like final battle in um in it or last. I mean, I, I think the word final doesn't necessarily indicate final, but at the same time, it, it makes me it makes me cautious that uh, it's called the final battle. It just seems very indicative of where the show is going. So I just wanted to at least you know. I don't want it to be canceled. I, I like talking about the show. I like making these videos. I have a great time doing it. It's fun for me. But, um, you know, the lack of Jennifer Goodwin, Josh Dallas, and Jared Gilmore returning in any capacity at all. I just want them to be recurring, but to have them not come back at all is depressing. The, the title, Final Battle, the fact that the contracts are all kind of up in the air is very disconcerting as well. And um, I, I just don't know what's going to happen. I just I really don't. So, um, the I'm I'm really curious to see what you guys want to what you guys want to talk about in the episode and the the comments. Actually, there's one more thing I want to do. I was thinking of doing a little segment um, as the numbers release to discuss um, the numbers for um, Once Upon a Time and maybe a couple other shows. So, if you look at the numbers for Tougher Than the Rest, it only got about a three point million view count, three point zero three million when it came back, and that's pretty low. It's actually, if I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah, that's an all-time season low, and I'm pretty sure that's an which if that's an all-time season low, that means it's an all-time series low. So they're they're not doing too hot right now. Like I think you know ABC executives want to see the show get five million views. Three million is high for the CW. Like that's we've talked about this before um, in my, my could one my Once Upon a Time be canceled video, which we discussed. You know, comparing Once Upon a Time's ratings to um, other networks. But, you know, the series, or the mid-season finale, I mean, had a 3.27 million views, and then the episode before that had 3.28 million views. The season is all with just 3 point uh, something million, but the mid-season premiere has been very, it was very disconcerting for me as well, and I don't like that. So, what I was saying was, you know, when the, the numbers for Murder Most Foul come in, I'll make a little discussion video to discuss that. Actually, what what we can do here, if you guys um, want to, send me questions you have that I didn't get to answer during the Once Upon a Time review. Send Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Instagram, or Facebook, wherever you want to send it, or leave it here and just say, please incorporate this into the uh, ratings video, and we'll discuss any questions you guys have. It can be about the show itself, it can be a personal question, what, whatever you want to discuss in order to make um, it more fun. So... Yeah, the, the, the numbers, though, are, are just um, 
numbers don't lie, sadly. And the numbers for this particular season are just are so, so low. Now, uh, that's really all I got to say about it. I'm, I'm really concerned. I mean, the highest rated episode they had was The Other Shoe with a 4.11 million, which was a Cinderella episode. And to me, that makes sense because it's Cinderella. Like, you have Cinderella. Everyone loves Cinderella. It makes sense that more, more people would tune in. But marketing has been awful for the season. We know that. We know marketing's been horrendous. So um, I'm really curious what you guys have to say about it. So let me know if you want me to do the number series, or excuse me, please send your questions or comments um, if you want me to include it in the ratings this little series I'll start. Even if the show is truly canceled, I want to do as much with it as I can before it ends in May. So we'll discuss Murder Most Fowls ratings um, probably I'll try to do it by Saturday if the numbers are out by then, which I think they have to be. And so shoot me questions. We'll talk about that then. And leave your comments about the possible series finale titles, um, The Final Battle, and Andrew J. West is casting. So thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll talk soon.